All right, so let's uh, recap and let's summarize some of the important aspects of uh, an action potential and the sodium potassium pump. Again, we will move to uh, some videos here in a little bit on the next uh, presentation. So uh, here we are at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. What better place to start than at the beginning? So we have a resting nerve. So this is a resting nerve. Uh, the overall voltage on the inside relative to the outside is negative 70 millivolts. Why is it negative 70 millivolts? A couple reasons, but one of the reasons are we have these negatively charged anions present, which are stuck on the inside. Keep in mind though, we also have high amounts of potassium on the inside at the start, and we also have high amounts of sodium on the outside. You might say, well, why is it negative when you see the positives here? You just gotta uh, look at the sum total. We have more negatives here compared to positives. So that's one way to think about it. Well, again, high sodium here. So let's uh, take a look at our graph. We are at resting, we are at negative 70 right here. The nerve is not being stimulated. Let's add a stimuli. So let's add a stimuli here, and uh, that stimuli is gonna open up these, uh, these voltage gates, which are gonna allow the sodium ions to pass in, and they're gonna pass in uh, really, really quick. Well, notice as the sodiums rush in, negative, or as the sodiums move in, sorry, we haven't rushed in yet, but as they move in, notice the, the negative 70 goes up. Let's say we get another stimuli, so here's another stimuli. Notice more sodiums come in, so negative 70 is moving towards zero here. Let's say that we hit threshold. Now we've got an action potential. Let's say the threshold is negative 55 millivolts. So once we hit that number, it happens, okay? At that point, the voltage gates for sodium open up and these sodium ions rush in and they're gonna rush in and we're gonna get this, uh, this voltage on the inside moving towards zero in a very small amount of time, because this, uh, this is milliseconds here, and we're gonna move up till we hit a positive 30. At positive 30, the voltage gates for these potassium are gonna open up. When potassium rushes out for reasons that we've already talked about, we are gonna be losing positives on the inside. So, here these potassiums are gonna rush out. Notice we started at positive 30, we're losing potassiums. And if you lose potassiums from the inside, we're losing positive charges. So of course we're moving down towards zero. And again, this is occurring really quick. And notice lots of potassium are rushing out, lots of potassium, they're rushing out, they're rushing out, they're rushing out. And we're gonna be at this state of hyperpolarization, which is a little bit less than that negative 70. At this point, at negative 73, let's say, so let's say this is negative 73.0 millivolts, so here we are. Notice at this point, we have high amounts of sodium on the inside, high potassium on the outside. That's the opposite of where we started, so again, uh, right now, the sodium potassium pump is gonna get to work, and the sodium potassium pump is gonna kick out these sodium ions, and it's going to kick in these uh, potassium ions. So it's a pump, it's an active transport pump. This requires cellular energy. And uh, this is gonna be going on all the way down here, so we're gonna be throwing out the sodium to the outside, we're gonna be taking in the uh, potassium to the inside, and notice about this point right here, we've reestablished this, uh, this resting potential, there it is, and at that point, the nerve can be stimulated again. So, there we go. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is take a closer look at uh, this process, 
And um, I guess what we can do is maybe let's, uh, let's make a list. These are the steps involved in an action potential. So here we go. Got to write this down. And we should have this written down now. Uh, first step, we've got uh, high sodium on the outside, high potassium on the inside. So that's where we are. Next step, we get a nerve stimulus. That nerve stimulus, let's say it reaches threshold. So that's the next step. Nerve stimulus reaches threshold. Next step, voltage gates open up, sodium rushes in. So the voltage gates open up, sodium rushes in. If sodium rushes in, we're getting more and more positive here as the sodium rushes in. Next step, at positive 30, the potassium ions are gonna rush out of the uh, axon. So notice, as potassium rushes out, there it is, we're decreasing, we're losing positives. So as we lose positives, we get to zero, then we keep losing positives. Uh, we're now below zero, and we're moving all the way down to this um, state of hyperpolarization. Next step, sodium potassium pumped is going to reestablish the original concentrations of sodium potassium. In other words, the original concentrations were high sodium on the outside, high potassium on the inside. And uh, finally, I guess you can write it also, finally uh, the nerve can be stimulated again. All right, so I hope, uh, hope that's fine. And again, we'll be watching some uh, videos to help, uh, to help uh, get a better grasp on this. I did mention the fact that uh, understanding this, uh, how nerves work can lead to an understanding of how different pharmaceuticals work in terms of, let's say we have a nerve inhibitor. So you go to the uh, dentist and you don't want those nerves firing. You don't want that. Those nerves firing means pain, 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 pain. So a nerve, a nerve inhibitor has various types of activity. There are different ways that nerves are inhibited. There are different ways that nerves are stimulated. So caffeine uh, is gonna stimulate the nerve, make hyperexcitability. Had a lot of caffeine here. It's now uh, Sunday. Uh, it's getting later and later. Uh, anyway, more on that at a different time, but that's kind of where we're going. Kind of. So, um, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, how'd you guys get in here? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I know how you got in here. We really thank you for coming. It's times like this that we really need you to. Really, really need you to. Look who joined us. So uh, we are gonna go talk, we're gonna go hang out, and we'll see what we can do. Of course, uh, I'm just listening in this group. Have a good day. Hey, what's the deal? I thought you guys were gonna beam out of the room with me. How's it going? We need some help. Let's go have some more coffee.